everyone, Dave here from Battle of Wizard 94 and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to properly keep a praying mantis as a pet. Praying mantises can make excellent pets. Depending on, the, on their species, most mantises live between 6 to a year. One year. Praying mantises are, ver praying mantises are very, very agile creatures and can, can adapt to people very um, quickly at first. But some really adapt um, slow, slower. Before you bring home your new praying mantis, you'll need you need ta you'll need a tank or a cage. You need a mesh cage cover or a plastic cage cover with small holes. You need a spray bowl filled with water. You need twigs, sticks, and leaves, crickets, mealworms, or flies, and a and soil, peat, and sand, which is optional. Environment. It's it's best using um plant material. Use that that camouflages the mantis really well with its habitat. It is very fun to pick out some very different variety of leaves, but it's very important that you that you um pick out some leaves that really blend the mantis well within the thing. And I forgot you. I forgot to introduce my mantis to you guys, which is called Lightning, my praying mantis. And she is a she is a full grown adult mantis, and I'm I'm actually unsure how what species she is. So I'm going to take the lid off and show you guys. And also, getting a stick that reaches about to the top of the cage is very very important so, uh, to provide them with a lot of like like climbing abilities and that. So I'll show you. This is my praying mantis right here. She is a. I'm unsure what the species is because I'm because it's okay. This is what it looks like. It's a large green mantis with a white line on the abdomen, full female. And look, that's what it looks like on the with the wings. They're not that big. Yeah, she's not pregnant. She's just really, really well fed. So I have sprayed her, but I will show you that in the video how to. Walk. And also, yeah, just just to take that, just put it back in there. That for you, it is very, very important that you do spray the mantis to keep high humidity. A light mist should should be enough to give a healthy humidity level. I've already sprayed, but I'll just add some more. And also, feel free to spray your insect, but do not just spray it too much, or the mantis will not like it at all. Just spray probably like two light mist sprays. Food and water. Praying mantises like a bunch of a variety of insects between crickets, mealworms, and flies. Buying crickets and that from pet shops is handy, or you can just find them in your backyard. But it is recommended that you do buy them, as they, as wild ones, may have any like pesticides or any harmful chemical chemicals that could harm your praying mantis. And also, they drink, they get most of their water from their tank, well, not their tank, their food, which has like a lot of like liquid and flesh in it. And they can also they can also drink from droplets dripping from leaves. B branches or even a small water dish below. Housing mantises are. Uh, I, actually, I have mentioned that. Yeah, praying mantises are. It is they are incredible to witness right here. I, I might actually show you a witness when, um, when lightning my mantis catches a cricket. But that's on a different day. But I've I've still have I still have the video so. Yeah, molting. Praying mantises use mold when they get grow bigger. So that means they'll just stay in one spot. They won't eat for a while, for for the for the, for a couple of days. Um, and then they will they'll just, the skin their skin will their old skin will split. And then they'll pull out of it and they'll appear grow, grow, larger. And but this is very important. Do not, and I repeat, do not hold your mantis when he is in this because his skin is very soft and can be damaged really easily, especially their. Um, like stick like legs, not their forelimbs, but their le the other stick like legs that look like really like look like little thin twigs. So, I hope this video helps you. Please smack the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another video. And this video, and there's gonna be a, a f there's gonna be a scene of um, my of lightning catching a cricket at the end. Peace out. Also, guys, another inv vitally important bit is that never house praying mantises together unless they're male and female if you want them to breed, but never house them together as they will eat each other and are very territorial, and especially the females. Females fight over each other. 
I don't know about males, but I have seen females fight over each other. Also, another bit I forget to mention is always have your cage three times as long and three times as tall as your praying mantis is. Mine is about ten centimeters long, and my the, uh, my tub's about uh, about a foot a foot a foot and a half wide, but I don't know about how tall it is. Probably a foot. So, yeah. Any more? Okay. So yeah. Also, guys, I keep I keep forgetting to mention stuff, but this is the time when I do it. Praying mantises humidity levels are vary within different species, but it's really good to spray the cage for every any every mantis species that you have. Also, finding praying mantises, you can either buy them, or well, I, I don't think they don't I, I don't think they sell them here in Australia, but they do sell them in different countries. But the, you have to pay for them. I don't know how much they are, but yeah, they you have they get shipped over as a little one centimeter long nymph, so you have to be very, um, very careful with it, and giving it, you have to give it fruit flies, which are really, really small, or little ants, or any little bugs you can find. So. Dinner. Man, this is gonna catch a cricket. Let's see if he can get it. Oh, look at him. Oh, come on.